Right, thank you, Stephen. Well, congressional candidate Adam Frisch is making his way through Colorado once again. You may know him as the man who narrowly lost to Representative Lauren Boebert in the 2022 third congressional race. But now that she's out of the district come November, he says he's feeling pretty good about his chances of having his own office in Washington, D.C. We're on the road 25 days a month. I'm home three or four or five days a month. Adam Frisch is once again running for Colorado's third congressional district after a nonstop year and a half. Describing his campaign as a listening and learning tour, he engages with individuals who express frustration with the current political parties. How people are making their living, how they're spending their money, the concerns that they have about education, the concerns about how important water is to the western slope in southern Colorado. As we've reported, the Colorado Supreme Court and Jenna Griswold advocate for the removal of former President Donald Trump from the 2024 presidential ballot. What is Adams' perspective on this matter? Uh, democracy should be done at the ballot box, not through playing uh, legal games. And I don't understand how judges or a, a quasi-appointed um, Secretary of State can just decide that they are judge and jury and prosecutor and found guilty of something that President, uh, former President Trump hasn't even been charged with. With concerns lingering regarding the border situation, despite President Biden's push for a bipartisan bill aimed at addressing border issues, it appears to have hit a roadblock in the Senate, allegedly due to the influence of former President Donald Trump and his supporters. And again, I think Washington, D.C., especially on the Democratic side, and with all due respect to the White House, they've been completely uh, head in sands and tone deaf to what's going on down there. And to have uh, 10, 20, 30, 40,000 people try to be across the border in these short periods of time uh, has been a disaster. Back here on the Western Slope, the housing crisis affecting everyday workers, but Adam says he has a plan. But we need to figure out how to reinvest some of the taxpayer money that comes from CD3 to have that money come back in here and reinvest it and let the local leaders decide in the importance of health care, mental and physical, and the importance of housing. Since this interview on January 11th, Grand Junction Mayor Anna Stout announcing her decision to end her campaign for CD3, Frisch posted this message on his Facebook stating, the mayor's focus on key issues such as building new housing and expanding child care opportunities reflects her deep concern for the well-being of her constituents. This signals a notable shift in attitude for CD3. While we have a clear understanding of the past, the question remains, where will the voters lead us in the future?